It had been a few days since the accident, and the engines were working hard, but it was a struggle. With two engines out of service, they were absolutely exhausted and overworked. And Sir Topham Hatz began to take notice of this. Thomas and Toby were at Timoth Station discussing the situation. This is ridiculous, sighed Thomas. The fat controller gives us all this extra work without any help. Calm down, Thomas. You and I both know that the fat controller did not anticipate this. Yeah. Besides, I'm sure that Sir Topham has a plan. I hope so. I mean, with Hank and Alice out of action, my passenger runs for both the evening and night runs have made me late to help Percy with the mail. He was just about to continue when he heard a whistle. Who was that? asked Toby's driver. The engine in question was a green engine, which at first both engines and their crews thought it was Percy, until they saw his shape. Hello, is it Sidmouth? asked the engine. Um, yes, and you are Sheffield, said the engine. Well, um, no, nice to meet you Sheffield. I'm Toby and Thomas. Yes, I've heard of you too, interrupted Sheffield. The two engines were taken aback by his bluntness. Well, um, what brings you to Sodor, Sheffield? Your controller, uh, what is it, to top him hats? Brought us here to help you with the extra work, if I'm not mistaken. The two engines were about to respond when a familiar voice echoed through the yard. That is correct. It was her top him hats. Sheffield, you'll be helping out while Hank and Alice are being repaired. I see, replied Thomas. Sir Topham had continued. So, Sheffield, your first job will be to go down to random docks to pick up some machine parts for the diesel works. Yes, sir, answered the austerity. With that, he puffed away. Meanwhile, at the diesel works, how long will it be until I'm able to get started? All in good time, my dear friend. All good things come to those who wait. <sighs> Very well, said the engine. Hopefully this plan of yours will go accordingly. Of course, said Easel 10. When have my plans ever gone wrong before? Hmm. Well, how about that time you tried to sabotage those races a few years back. Oh, well, or oh, that time you failed to take over the steam works. Wait, what? N never mind that. I know this plan from the boss is foolproof. Indeed. When are you going to introduce me to this boss of yours? When the time is right, my dear engine. When the time is right. Meanwhile, Sheffield had arrived at Brandom Docks. Porter was just finishing shunting his train. He had just shunted the last few trucks into place when Bill and Ben arrived. Hello, Green Cat. Bill trailed off and realized it was not Percy. You're saying? Sorry, I, I, I thought you were someone else. I hope so. I want no nonsense on my first day of Sheffield. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta get some coal and water and get this train to the diesel works. With that, Sheffield puffed away. Bill and Ben looked at each other. He seemed like a coin sort, huffed Ben. Agreed, says sarcastic Ben's fireman. Maybe we should teach that bossy wheels a lesson, Ben. Maybe we should, Bill, chuckled Ben. Oh dear, said Bill's driver. When Sheffield returned from the coal and water tower, 
the twins decided to put the plan into action. Sir, did you say that the three of you, ahem, oh right, four of you, were headed to the diesel works? Yes, answered Sheffield. Well, I take care if I were you. Why is that? Because the diesel works is not the best place for a steam engine to end up at. Indeed, some very unfriendly diesels have been known to work there. Sheffield just scoffed. It can't get any worse than the ones on the mainland. Well, um, um, one of them has a mechanical claw on top of him. Indeed, nasty thing that contraption is. Said have been used in a lumber yard. Likely story. Rubbish. There is no way that could be true. Among other reasons, it would break the loading gauge. All right, but don't have your crew come crying back to us when you end up getting trapped at the days of works like the last time a steam engine went there. Sheffield was puzzled, but before he could ask, the guard blew his whistle and he had to leave. Boy Sheffield, don't let those evil diesels get you. Sheffield just rolled his eyes. He had not gone far when his driver stopped him. He had to wait for Donald to arrive with a passenger train. Just then, Dash, the red tank engine, arrived. Great, another engine to annoy me. And hello to you too, Sheffield, answered Dash. Huh, what are you doing here? Just waiting for Donald to arrive with the mechanic to fix my brakes. I see, said Sheffield. Though, I would like to tell you that what the twins said about the diesel works is not too far off. Really? quizzed Sheffield. Yes. One of the diesels in particular, a black class R8 named Diesel, has been known to cause trouble from time to time. And that Diesel with the claw is all too real. How would you know that? asked Sheffield. Because I work with him from time to time in the scrap and smelting shed. Oh, best to get on his good side, because he can be just as bad, if not worse, than Diesel. Really? Well, I mean, last night, I had to pick up some trucks from the diesel works. But as I was leaving, I thought I'd go overhear him and some of the other diesels in the main shed. It sounded very suspicious, as if he and the other diesels were laughing about something. Sheffield's crew were worried, but Sheffield just scoffed. <laughs> yeah. Scoffed Sheffield. Just then, Donald rolled past. And that meant Sheffield could leave. As he puffed towards the diesel works, he could not stop thinking about what the other engines had said. When he arrived, Dard was waiting for him. You must be Sheffield. We've been in need of those parts. Where shall they put them? In the siding over there. Okay then. With that, Sheffield began to shunt the trucks. Hmm. 
Hmm. Dark and scary these works indeed. He thought to himself. So far, these diesels seem much nicer than the ones back on the mainland. He had just finished shunting the trucks into the siding and proceeded to get some more coal and water. When he arrived at the main shed, the doors were closed shut. He was about to venture further when the doors flung open to reveal Diesel 10. Oh great, another steamy. Sheffield was surprised. Oh my, the other engines were right, he puffed himself. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just looking for the water tower, explained Sheffield. It's at the coal hopper at the back shed. V very well then, C come on Sheffield, if I'm mistaken. We're needed back at Vigorstown right away, said Sheffield's driver. Very well done, replied Sheffield. With that, he puffed away to the water tower. Hmm, he seems to be much better mood than yesterday, said Dart. Soon, Sheffield was refilled with water and puffed away. You think they heard us? No, of course not. You think they say something? Diesel just rolled his eyes. Meanwhile, Sheffield arrived at Bickerton Goods Yard. Rosie was there shunting his train. So, um, is this my train? Asked Sheffield. Um, yes, uh, Sheffield, said Rosie, reading the austerity engine's nameplate. Soon, Sheffield was coupled up to the train. The guard was just about to blow his whistle when Rosie's fireman spoke. I take care of our you. Those trucks have been nothing but troublesome all day. Sheffield just rolled his eyes. Huh, what is this? Educating Sheffield Day? First the twins, and now you. I know how to handle trucks. What do you think I was doing at a steelworks for the first part of my working career? All right, said Rosie. With that, the guard blew his whistle, and he puffed away. As Sheffield rolled down the line, he was less busy concentrating on the trucks and more about what happened at the diesel works. He was so distracted that he didn't notice the trucks were starting to push him faster and faster down the line. He soon arrived at Henry's Tunnel. Just past the tunnel, the line dips down slightly towards the junction. Engines with goods are always faced with a signal as the passenger and railcar trains have the right of way. The signal was read as Sheffield exited the tunnel. His driver began to brake, but the troublesome trucks were already pushing. On, 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 they yelled. The trucks bashed in the back of Sheffield. It was a huge shock for Sheffield. Hey, stop that, said Sheffield. But the trucks took no notice and forced Sheffield on, straight through the junction. Hey, what's where you're going? cried Evan. But Sheffield was already far away. Worse was to come. The signalman saw that Sheffield was in trouble, so he changed the point just in time. But what's going on? asked Sheffield's driver, but before anyone could say anything else, they biffed and bashed into an old boarded up tunnel. Faster, faster, said the trucks. I don't want to go any faster, cried Sheffield. Then his driver looked ahead. Look out, he cried. Sheffield gasped. The track at the end of the tunnel came to an end. 
Sheffield shut his eyes and braced for impact. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt. Is everyone okay? I think so, replied Sheffield. Same here, said Sheffield's driver and fireman. The same can be said about me, said a voice. That's good too. Sheffield's voice trailed off when he realized who he was talking to. Who's there? he asked. Oh, right. My name is Peter. Nice to meet you, Peter, said Sheffield suspiciously. Sheffield's guard ran to the nearest signal box and telephoned for help. And soon, Harvey arrived with Rocky and her top and hat. How are you feeling, Sheffield? A little shaken up, but fine, sir. Nothing feels out of order. I see. And I see you've made a new friend. Oh, yes. This is Peter, said Sheffield. Sir Topham Hatt inspected Peter. Hmm. Well, Sheffield, since you seem to be in good working order, once you are properly re-railed, take Peter to the steamworks. Yes, sir, said Sheffield. That night, at the diesel works. Well, it looks like all the parts are here. Good. Those workers in that steamy did not suspect a thing. All right. Well, you better get started. Hence why you kept me up here all this time. Oh, right. Uh, driver? I'm on it, said Diesel 10's driver. The boss is going to be pleased once you're fully rebuilt. Indeed. When are you going to tell me about this boss of yours? Patience, my dear engine. Patience. You and this island will get what's coming to you. Ha 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 